So this week we've set you an assignment uh, in the a research assignment uh, for, for this particular module. And we're asking you to interrogate a local music scene um, and connect it into its global context. I want to just quickly go through some very basic um, methods for finding academic material here. I did this because of um, a few years back, a family friend in her third year of the BA program here at UWA was uh, asking me about finding materials for an essay she was doing. And it became very apparent to me very quickly that she'd never used Google Scholar and, um, and was really struggling at times just to find some basic materials. So I realize again, yet again, that we make these assumptions too often that, um, that everybody knows how to find these things. Some of you may well be well versed in this, uh, in, in finding materials, in which case skip over this if, if needs be. But not everyone is, and let's not assume that that's the case. So what I want to do first is just look at what the assignment is and then have a think about how we're going to find these materials. Your task is to conduct some preliminary research into the globalization and localization of another form of pop another form of popular music in one of the countries or regions covered in the film Global Metal, drawing on academic articles, articles, journalistic coverage, etc. So you have to do another form. I'm going to though focus on on metal music because that seems like the neutral thing to do here. And I am interested in metal music in Japan. So let me just now go to one of my favorite sites. This is the play. This is my go-to when I do, when I'm starting to look for material, it's Google Scholar. It usually helps me find things quickly and gives me a set, an overview of a field quite quickly too. So metal music. Bam. Let's see what comes up when I search here. Effective overdrive, scene dynamics and identity in the global metal scene. To speak with irony, the Japanese, I don't know. Oh, and this, so, well, let's just have a look at what this is. I'm pretty sure this is something that you're familiar with. Just, let's just check, um, bring it up. Oh, that's slow. Uh, metal rules the globe, yeah. So this, it's from the book that you've just read the paper from. I've just put my hand in front of my face. I know, just apologies for that. Um, so you read this particular paper, The Globalization of Metal. In here somewhere, there's a paper about Japan. But well, look, this is a, uh, well, of course, this is for metal, so you're not going to be able to use it for this particular exercise. Um, I'm, not, I won't, I'm not sure. Is this book available? Am I going to be able to access that particular chapter? Let's have a look. Um, <clears throat> One search will tell me this, so that's a place that I should, probably should have had that open even just to start with. Uh, the book is um, Metal Rules the Globe. Just quickly put that into the into the search. The thing I'm hoping for is that this is available as an ebook. It is available as an ebook. Um, fantastic. That will mean I'll be able to should be able to access that chapter. Um, so. Uh, that may well do for this particular exercise. But let's imagine I can't get to it because sometimes you cannot get to book chapters easily and you need to be able to do this particular one quickly. If there's no point putting in a request, you've only got a few days to do it. So let's just go back and have a look, a bit of a further look. Gender inequality and metal music production. Um, write it down the nether. So Japan gets mentioned here. It's not in the title. <coughs> Metal Rules the Globe, Heavy Metal Music. So we're back to that book. Extreme Metal Music in the Cultures on Edge. It's a book. It's a book available in that's uh, we can read through Google Books. And if you don't know about Google Books, um, that means often you can read. Um, it has selected segments, or has it can have long segments from a, from a book in there. Depends on what's happened with copyright dealings or dealings with the publishers. Um, the so that's great. It's great. You can get uh, easy access to a book. One of the problems is you can't do direct copies from there. <clears throat> so you have to treat it pretty much as a hard copy book that you're reading um, and taking notes on the side from it. Um, German metal attacks. I'm already to Germany. Then we've got 154,000 results. It doesn't. This is telling me that perhaps Japan, it's not in the title very much. We're into German heavy metal, Turkish metal music. Okay. Um, Encyclopedia of heavy metal music. Now there's a thing. An encyclopedia of heavy metal music. Amazing what's out there, eh? and the sort of different things that we can find. 
Um, oh, look, okay, maybe I could try, I wonder what happens if I put heavy metal? Does that change the, the grounds at all? I get less results. Same opening one, gender, so the same things coming up there. Oh, there's a different one from the last search. The genre preferences of Western popular music by Japanese adolescents. It's in a journal by the looks, popular music and society. Oh, it even comes up as a PDF straight away. Well, that's, that's useful. Um, but it's not really about metal, is it? What I could do here is just see what's there. So control F, find um, uh, Japan is what I'm looking for, isn't it? In this particular case. Uh, oh no, it's in Japan, I'm after metal. What's up with me sometimes, I wonder. Uh, so I wanna find out what it's got on metal. It's got 18 references to metal. Former include easy listening, heavy metal pop. So this is uh varieties of contemporary music so it's just dealing with um that looks like it was just getting to genres um the response to heavy metal was perhaps the least expected truth in my own, I believe that this music appeals primarily to young males while women prefer soft romantic rock um okay so there's a gender something they're finding out about gender here male responses to the study had a low approval of heavy metal the same as for females Okay, so males and females are around about the same, they're suggesting. The genres you use here, well, that doesn't look like... Yeah, okay, well, here's a table that could be useful in my research. Uh, rating of musical genres, don't like at all, um, to like very much. Okay, so heavy metal's not in uh, big demand, it's not, it's not really what they're after. Okay, so this could be useful for me as an overview in the area. Um, but it's not one that's going to help me address the particular questions that I've got. All this, this is some statistical background that may well be useful for my research in this area. Relationship between dichotomous thinking and music preferences amongst Japanese undergrads. Uh, rhythmic transgression in heavy metal music. The fist in the face of God. Heavy metal music. Again, Japan, no, heavy, not so big in Japan. Western pop music in the Japanese market. Again, it's more generic, isn't it? It's pop music. Um, Hip-hop DJs? Well, where's metal in all of this? Um, one way to deal with this problem is just to go, okay, let's put the heavy metal music into, inver into inverted commas there. Now, that means we're looking specifically for those, is, those titles. Immediately reduces the um, results down to 2,000, so that's helpful. Still coming up around the same. Um, Thunder in the Farm, oh, well, here we go, the heavy metal industry in the 90s, Japan, it's a citation, um, finding that I'd have to work up it. I'm into Brazil already on the first page. Um, so it's telling me, actually, you know what, I think for this particular assignment, Japan's not looking all that promising in terms of academic literature. But I was struck by that earlier reference I found to Turkey. Let me see what comes up when if I put Turkey in. There you go. I reckon I've struck gold already. Turkish metal music, turtle, Turkish metal, music meaning a morality in a Muslim society. Now it's a book, it's in Google Books. I'll just highlight, I'll just show you what that might mean. Music meaning morality, in Muslim society. Um, as I say, we can use this. Well, let's just let's just get to it and see where. Um, I come from a PhD dissertation, so it's got to be pretty detailed, I think. Structure of the book. Uh, closing in. All the society was against us, say, to a female metal headed from Istanbul explains. Many of my friends are beaten up for their long hair or earrings. He continues. Metal in Turkey has been blamed for being subversive, posing the front to moral and religious sensibilities. I'm onto it. All right. There's something in this particular book that could be helpful. I've got an exercise to do. This looks interesting enough to me. I reckon I can work with it. So I think I've struck gold now. I think I've got what I need. And look here, here's the second one, available as a PDF, Reflections in the Metal Void, Heavy Metal in a Muslim Context, The Rise of Turkish of the Turkish Metal Underground. Let's have a look at what that's doing. Um, yeah. Yeah, look, I think now I'm onto something. I don't need much for this particular assignment. In fact, I only need one source, two maybe, if I'm um, feeling like I, I want to explore that further. What I might do is just have a look and see which are going to be the most useful for me. There's a, there's a piece in Metal Rules of Lobe about it. Heavy metal in the Middle East, new urban spaces. 
yeah, well, look, uh, if it's, if Turkey is, is featured in that. Being young and Muslim, new cultural politics is another Google Books um, search. Um, yeah, okay, so I've got it. I've got a source. I'm ready to go, and uh, I can now get on and do that assignment. I hope that helps. Um, very, very basic introduction, as I said. Um, good luck with it. I think this should be fun to go and do, and I'm certainly looking forward to hearing more about the materials, the stuff that you're going to find out there. Um, you're going to be teaching me a lot, I'm sure, as we go through this material. See you.